Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mari, also known as Soul Style Beauty, and I'm back with another video. So if you are not subscribed, because I know majority of y'all who are not subscribed to my videos, watch them. So definitely take the time out right now to hit that subscribe button and then also hit the bell notification so you know every single time I upload a video but I do look different I know I know the hair is black I have a ponytail and um it's like back in a ponytail and um I know I'm looking real different out in these streets and that's because I actually turned 28 hold on need some coffee and by the way yes I do drink bodega coffee I don't care <laughs> Um, yeah, I do look very different out in these streets, um, and that's because I turned 28 on June 28th, so yes, it was my golden year, and I had a blast, y'all, with my friends, and I'm still celebrating today, I'm going to brunch with one of my other, um, like my co-workers now for my birthday, so it's like, it's July 3rd, and yes, I'm still celebrating, and my birthday was on the 28th, so... I'm just thankful for that. Today we are going to talk about habits just because it's been a topic that's been so heavy on my heart. Your habits form and shape your life, your outcomes. And yes, you may be like Imara, well, you're a believer and, you know, God puts you into spaces. And yes, I do believe in that. However, we all play a responsibility in our assignments on this earth or what we want to do. Like, you have to put some work behind it. Hashtag do the work so I have a quote here that I'm gonna read um, and it resonated with me so much I'm like yes. uh, so it says pick your habits carefully your future relies on them the habits you cultivate now has the power to shape and impact your future that's a word like because I feel like a lot of us live in a fairy tale world where it's like when I arrive at this moment when I start that blog I'm automatically gonna grow the habit to make sure I maintain it. No, honey, starting a blog is one step and actually growing a habit to setting time aside is another habit. It's totally different. Um, you may want to grow a habit to pray for your marriage. If you don't pray now, guarantee when you get into that marriage, you won't pray at all. So I just feel like I've been convicted of so, many, so much this past weekend um, where I took time to just like rest after like all the festivities, which I mean, they're not done yet, but I just wanted to take time to rest, and I felt like God was telling me, like, what happened to the habits that you formed, um, because they're going to be so powerful and useful later. So I remember with my boyfriend, who is going to be my future husband, no, I'm not engaged yet, but it's coming, it's, uh, it's coming. Anyways, I have, like, post-its on um, my wall, and I used to pray for certain aspects about, like, our relationship, about him specifically, and I feel like when you think about just specifically talking about marriage like the divorce rate is so high and um and the shocking thing is it's higher in christian marriages and i was like shocked when i heard that so i'm just like what can i do now what habits can i form now so when i walk in there i'm protected i feel like i already have a habit to pray and it's a firmer foundation that we're standing on and i feel like oftentimes it's so easy to think that we have an on and off switch like yeah when I get that blog, like, I'm automatically going to maintain, like, duh. When I get into this marriage or this relationship that God has called me in, like, of course we're going to start praying. No, it does not work like that. You have to take the time to really be intentional up front and lead with that, you know, and stick to your boundaries. And I've been slipping. I'm not perfect, y'all, like, at all being on this platform. But I just share, like, what I go through. And I feel like I was so convicted of, like, those prayer posters because that is going to be so firm because the enemy works y'all know especially when it comes to relationships especially when it comes to marriages because people y'all y'all already know i'm not gonna get in because this is not a marriage video however that was one area of my life and i know there's more where i can like input more habits and it's funny because i mean i have habits if you speak to any one of my friends they're like imara's always like oh i gotta go i gotta go and that's because i put in the work i have to put in the work although i'm like yes i'm touching lives with blogs and youtube and this and that you still have to put in the work and make sure you have those boundaries within your life and grow that habit of oh 
oh okay I have to put aside an hour or two unless you just can't do it because I came out of a season girl and I just could not do it but if you have the time you have to grow the habit you have to do the work so I hope that you take away from this video that habits are so important they shape your life the outcome of your life what you want to do you feel like God is calling you to something you feel like God is give, giving you an assignment you need to grow a habit behind it and hashtag zoo the work so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video it was very short um but let me know down below what what do you feel god has calling you to and what are the habits that you wanted to put that you want to put in place let's start a conversation down below and then also maybe you'll find a accountability partner let's all talk this is what the soul style beauty community is about this is what god girls brunch is about like the brunch that i actually have in brooklyn and in new york listen we talk on the channel so talk let me know down below and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys